Springtime, a time of rebirth and rejuvenation. A time when Mother Nature opens her eyes and awakens from her long winter's sleep. The same is true of the wild sandwich. Stirred from its hibernation, this one has made its way to the river for its first drink since autumn. Groggy, a little thin, but otherwise completely healthy. As with humans, springtime is mating season for the sandwich. The male attracts the female with the sandwich dance. If the female likes what she sees, she will expose her layers, allowing the engorged male to enter her. Intercourse lasts for several hours, after which the female will devour her mate with a side of potato chips. This could take a while. Let's give them some privacy. The young typically hatch in early May. However, they don't learn to fly for another two or three weeks. It's a long way down, and that first step can be scary. But this little fellow doesn't seem to mind. Steady. Steady. Success! But it doesn't always go so smoothly. This one wasn't so lucky. The first month is crucial. Less than half of the young will survive. Another victim in the circle of life. But, despite all of its natural predators, none compare to the sandwich's most fearsome enemy. Man. The most prized possession, a clubbed sandwich. Against Earth's most cunning and devious animal, the sandwich is helpless. This senseless act of cruelty has wiped out an entire generation. Our sandwich family is no more. But wait! One has survived. Against all odds, this little sandwich has survived. And with it, hope for an entire generation of sandwiches in the Wild Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs>